All right, to get your Kodi or your XBMC working on your Fire TV stick, the first thing I need you guys to do is download two things. Get online and I need you guys to download ADB Fire and the Kodi APK. Um, the ADB Fire we can find over here or you can just Google ADB Fire all together, one word. And it will be the first link, or you can go to www.yokala.com slash adbfire.html. I can post the link below. If you feel the need, just go down and click on it. Second thing I need you to do is go to Cody.tv. Again, that's Cody.tv, and we're going to be clicking on the Downloads tab. From here, we're going to download a stable release of the Android AMR. So you click on this and it'll start downloading. Same thing with the ADB Fire. We're gonna go down. You're gonna select the one that fits your, your OS, in my case, Windows, and it'll start downloading. All right, so once you're on your uh, uh, Fire TV, you're gonna go all the way down to um, settings using your control and we're gonna go to system we're gonna go to about and we're going to go to network on your network you're gonna log in your IP address so save your IP address and write it down take a picture whatever we're gonna go down to developer options under systems and we're going to turn on debugging and turn off apps from unknown. You're going to get a warning. That's okay. And that's it for now. All right, so once you're in there, you're going to plug in your device address over here, which I'm going to have to change right now. 13, we're going to press connect. And as you can see down here, it'll say device connected. Once we do that, we're gonna go to install APK and we're gonna find that phone, that other file that we downloaded that I told you to download. Click, click on it and press open. It's gonna give you this, just press yes. And you'll see the status bar will be down here and just give it a few seconds until it downloads. And once it's installed, just click okay and you can exit out of there and we're going to go back I'm going to go to applications from applications we're going to go down to manage all installed applications and there's actually a few other uh, applications here that you don't see in the in the home screen but we're looking for Kodi so click Kodi click launch app and there we have it. We have Cody or XBMC as it formerly known as or whatever. All right. So